and TV Uganda enlightenment on your hands always. Hadada Havili Hadafi organization that focuses on the less privileged people in our communities and indeed there are many ways that we we focus on to them the many ways that we, we want would like to help them a prominent among those we have the educational component and here we have the special needs school dream school that is uh, reaching out to the less privileged people with disabilities in our communities who are not able to be served by the government facilities and so we, we thought it uh, important that we would be able to create a school that can be able to reach out to the young people uh, equipping them and helping them to be part of the mainstream uh, besides that we also have the vocational component uh, here uh, that's the primary component uh, mission, uh, uh, special needs school but again after that we also have the vocational institute uh, that uh, helps to equip people with skills in carpentry, in hotel management, uh, in tailoring, and many others. So we believe that this is uh, a great opportunity to our community uh, because for long, many of our people who are less privileged... Mainly, generally, the PWD is not only children, but even others. Busia has almost the highest number. The fact being that Busia has so many districts, uh, people from different districts who have come in. Knowing that they are coming to get work, uh, to get business at the border, and among those people, people with disabilities have come in to, to do that. And do some things. They have talents, they have the skills, they just need to be so we want you to mobilize those children and let them benefit from this wonderful program. So also, yes, we have uh, a department. In, in the Department of Education, we have a department of special needs and also in the Department of Community-Based Services, we have a department for persons with disability. We have very many empowerment programs that are targeting the parents and the children for disability. We have that the special grant for persons with disability. This is a program purely targeting the person with disability. A group of five people, they come together, form association and benefit five million from it and they form IGS. That can enable them to that, that empowers them to enable them to look after their families. Of course, I've been analyzing the government initiatives and interventions to fight poverty and how it has persisted in our communities. That despite all government efforts, people are held back in poverty because of the, the way they make their decisions. For example, when somebody tries to get some little money to, to fight poverty, they make decisions that take them back to poverty. Marrying a second wife, producing an unnecessary number of children they cannot take care of, and this keeps them in poverty despite government interventions. That's why I, I say that I think before we try to fight poverty using financial interventions, there is a spiritual bondage that must first of all be broken.